If you're thinking about cruising for the first time but aren't sure what to expect, this video is for you. For those who are already part of the cruising community, stick around and see if there's something that you've been missing and be sure to comment your favorite part of cruising for all those looking at joining our community. Ahoy travelers, it's Amy with Cruising from the Ozarks here to help you make your travel experience a success. When going on a cruise, you can expect a variety of experiences and amenities. Here are six things that you can expect when you finally decide to take that cruise. Number one, accommodations. Your cruise fare will of course include a cabin. There are so many options out there to choose from that there's sure to be something perfect for you. Maybe all you need is a place to crash at night and an interior is the way to go. Maybe you prefer the luxury of a suite and have the funds to afford one. Whatever you choose, you're gonna have a bed, bathroom, closet for your clothes, and there's usually gonna be a desk with storage as well. You can also expect some amenities in your room like a TV, hair dryer, lamps, and at least a few electrical plugs. If you're lucky, on the newer ships, you're also gonna find some USB ports. Like everything, do your research and look into cabin types and locations before making your choice. If you'd like to learn more, check out my video on choosing the best cabin for you that I'm gonna link in the description below. Number two, dining. You will never go hungry on a cruise. From the main dining room with its multiple course meals to fast eats and a buffet full of all kinds of foods to choose from, there are plenty of choices. Most ships now have specialty restaurants that offer upscale dining at an additional cost if you want to treat yourself. You will usually be asked to choose what dining time you prefer for the MDR, early dining or late dining. More and more lines are now offering a third choice of any time or your time dining that allows you to go to the MDR whenever you choose. No matter which option you pick, on most lines you could always skip the MDR for another option. Number three, entertainment. Cruise ships offer a wide array of entertainment options such as live performances, Broadway style shows, comedy clubs, movie theaters, and musical concerts. Some people even choose their ship based on what entertainment is available. You may also find activities like game shows, dance classes, and sports facilities that include things like pools, gyms, and basketball courts. I always like to say, if you're bored on a cruise, you're a boring person. Number four are the ports of call. One of the main reasons that people will choose a specific cruise is due to the ports of call. Depending on your itinerary, you'll have the opportunity to visit different ports and explore new destinations. You can go on organized shore excursions or explore on your own, discovering local attractions, culture, and cuisine. There are itineraries for almost anywhere you wanna go in the world. Anywhere that has a coastal region anyway. Number five, onboard activities. Cruises offer a wide range of onboard activities to cater to different interests. These can include casinos, shopping boutiques, spa and wellness centers, art auctions, cooking demonstrations, trivia, educational lectures, and more. Check out various cruise lines to see what they offer as not every line offers every activity. For instance, Disney doesn't have casinos and lines like Carnival, Royal, and Norwegian don't usually offer educational lectures. And finally, number six, services and amenities. Cruise ships provide a range of services, including housekeeping, laundry, medical facilities, internet access, as well as onboard shops selling essentials and souvenirs. Think of a cruise ship as a contained little city with everything you need for your vacation. Remember, each cruise line and ship have unique features and offerings. It's a good idea to research the specific cruise line and ship that you plan to travel with to understand the amenities, dining options, entertainment, and activities that they provide. There are times when someone has gone on a cruise and came away saying that cruising just isn't for them, but this is often due to not choosing the right line with the right amenities. Once they find the right cruise line, they fall in love with cruising. Why not stick around and check out this video on what is included in your cruise for more and then come back for more information designed to help you have an amazing cruise. Have a blessed week, everyone.